Sup, Star Wars fans? Um, I'm here to bring you a guide on, not really a guide to healing as a scoundrel, more like a guide to how, you know, to deal with PV pressure when you have multiple people on you and where to position position yourself um, as a scoundrel. And right here, you know, you can see me and my friends here assaulting a node, and I kind of use a smuggle to bring them in and try to go for the track there, but completely fail. Um, as we go for the node, my other friend's trying to cap it from behind. I'm trying to keep this guy's attention, but he kind of sees me, so biggest fail flash grenade ever. Ah, fuck me. Anyway, um, uh, it, when you're on a node, you generally want to um, kind of stay near the edge the best you can, so you can jump off like that if you ever get lots of pressure on you. And, you know, just stay on the outer edge, like right there, away from their spawn, and, you know, using fire flyby is really good for area denial as well, but since there's not already capped, there's no point. And uh, I kind of have this habit, every time anything leaps to me, I immediately not shot them. I'm hoping, you know, at some point they'll stop leaping to me, in, for the fear of their balls. And moving on, um, kind of st staying near the stairs as well, it, it's really helpful, because you kind of, if, you, if you're on the stairs right there, you'll be allowing their range DPS to the left, and kind of forcing their melee DPS to come away, like right here. Um, I'm gonna force a couple of people to come on to me right here away from the main fight and if you're trying to cap a node that's really really helpful because you know if their attention's on you someone can get a cap off really easily and um, you know right here we're kind of getting overwhelmed so kind of decide to fall back except for one of my one asshole friend of mine the commando over there he's in complete PvE gear so he took me up on a bet earlier in the match saying that if I kept him alive through the whole game he'd pay me 50k so here I'm like uh, going back for him, trying to keep his squishy ass alive. I don't know what he's wearing, I think it's a Kalamai Rakata mix, and I'm like, uh, fuck, this is not worth the 50k. Oh god, okay, I'm trying to keep him alive, trying to keep everyone on me. They, you know, finally realize I'm, I'm the one, I'm the reason he's not dying, so they're all kind of ganging up on me, trying to stay alive. Trying to bring them all to the edge. I think I'm gonna fail miserably here. Oh god, this is... Oh fuck, oh there we go, we got a few more teammates kind of pulling them off me and I think I should make a nope oh shit no this doesn't look good oh, oh wait no I'm fine here I'm fine I can do this I got this I got this oh shit uh, uh, <laughs> oh fuck saved by the victory screen fuck yes moving on um, I include this clip just to show you I think the use of the emergency med pack, which is basically your, you know, instant heal, which heals for around like, you know, 1700 to 2k with my gear. Um, it's not much, but the reason I like it so much is because it's free and only consumes upper hand. It costs no energy, so, you know, you don't go dry using it. And the best part is if the tag is both 30%, you know, it, co it costs, it doesn't even consume the upper hand stack because it just regrants it every time you use it. And I think right around here should be where um, you should start seeing me using it on my friend here. Oh yeah, there you go. So, you know, just keep him. It doesn't really, kind of helps if, if he's kiting as well. Mitigates some of the damage. And, you know, if I got a call in when saying that, you know, he's popping his defensive cooldown, which helped me get a cast off on him to bring him up to speed. But eventually we, we kind of get overwhelmed and do end up dying here, which kind of sucked. It was pretty fun, I think we held it on maybe six of them <laughs> at one node with just the two flus. Uh, anyway, um, in this clip I'm kind of just going to show you the best places to be, you know, when you're in the mid middle of the middle node in um, Civil War. I kind of tend to stay near the left somewhat-ish, you know, try to get behind them, use this ramp a lot, just dance around that whole area, and the other combo I like doing is uh, doing an underworld medicine into an emergency med pack, it kind of gives you a really good bursty healing. And I only use Cold the Cloud, you know, as like a filler heal when I'm topped off with energy or when everyone's bunched down around together. It kind of, you know, maximizes the healing output of it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and um, so, anyway, just basically just stay near this ramp kind of helps with a lot. I think I get jumped here, which probably help you. I'm gonna help me show you what I mean, like around here, I guess, there we go, we got a juggernaut on me. So, if this happens, um, you know, just jump down, pop a tendon blast, just kite him around the, the whole ramp there, 
and just do it all over again. Um, this is more effective when you have like oh he's still there. All right, this is more effective when you have like you know two or three DPSers on you and you just get behind there and flashbang them. And usually if you're trying to cap the node, that really helps your team out. And you know once you see your nodes clear, it's, it's always a good idea to go up to this ramp and kind of jump up to see if that node needs help if it's getting hit. In case no one called it, just to check it yourself. And here uh, I kind of saw like a couple of people leave uh, spawn going towards grass. So I'm gonna respond and try to help them out. Oh god, we got a hero sentinel here. Jumped right in the action. We have three people here. That's good. Okay, anyway, this is kind of a really bad place to be as a healer because you know there's nothing to LOS behind. So every time you're out in the open, you know you just need to find a place to you know either LOS them or kind of make it so they don't see you. I kind of use this ramp up top here because you know if melee have to get to me, they either have to leap to me or walk around the whole ramp up there. Oh shit, I got. Jump by stealth, kind of flashbang him and get the fuck out of there. I really don't like stealthers, they like really piss me off. Um, this is a really bad spot to be as well. I mean, you really shouldn't be fighting out here. I'd generally prefer it if all the engagements were at nodes, because you, you never know, you know, when a good team could punish you for this. They could easily stealth cap a node if we have, like, most of our players out all the way out here in the open. Oh well. So, anyway. I'm getting all of them, so I kind of pop my stealth and try to get away. And one cool trick is you can do is like you can pop your defense screen and into a warzone med pack, and you know the healing bonus you get from having defense screen also applies to the med pack, so it heals you for a whole bunch. So if you ever dying, just doing just popping a warzone med pack with defense screen up kind of brings you back up to full. Oh here, okay there we go. So finally getting back to the node again, getting my healers on me, and we should be safe here. Yeah, getting the rest of them getting cleared up. That's good. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, if you like what you saw, let me know. And if you want more guides on war zones, which is general healing as a scoundrel, let me know as well. I'd be happy to do one of those. Um, also, I kind of apologize for the terrible graphics. I kind of blew my graphics cut out trying to overclock it to play Battlefield 3 on high. Well, I got to play it for 30, I don't know, 30 minutes, I guess. But, you know, in my opinion, it was fucking worth it. Battlefield 3 is an awesome game. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys.